Some would say nature's been kind to human beings. If you believe in evolution, then we've gone from swimming in the deep sea to walking upright and making settlements all around the planet. Though that would have taken us to the top of the food chain, it isn't the same for all animals, and we're also partly to blame. Today we look at some of these animals who've been treated unfairly by nature and us. So let's get to it. Before we start, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Alright, here we go. Number 12. Fainting Goats Ever heard of this survival tip where you play dead when around a bear? Well, this goat might seem like it's trying to fool a wandering bear, but it certainly isn't doing it voluntarily. Meet the myotonic goat or the Tennessee fainting goat. As the name suggests, this breed of goat is prone to freezing up completely and falling over when startled. Scientists say it's a hereditary condition, and there seems to be no cure to it. Although one experiment noted that depriving these goats of water caused the symptoms to disappear within three days, but it returned after water was reintroduced. Look at these poor fellas. Hopefully, science is able to cure this strange condition in the future. Number 11. Ant Mill Ants are incredibly interesting insects. Just look at this strange phenomenon. It looks like a vortex into a different dimension ruled by ants. What you're looking at is something called an ant mill. This unique formation happens when army ants lose their main foraging group and the pheromone trail and start following one another in a continuous circle. It's also known as a death spiral since in most cases the ants get stuck in this formation and they'll keep circling until they die from exhaustion. It's been observed to last for hours to days until someone finds the lost trail again and leads all the ants out of this spiral. William Beebe was an American entomologist who first discovered this phenomenon in the 1920s, but what he observed was absolutely no ordinary ant mill. It was said to be around 370 meters in circumference. Crazy, right? That's almost as tall as the Sky Tower in New Zealand. Beebe noted that it took an ant almost two and a half hours to complete one revolution around this massive ant mill. Nature is amazing. Number 10. Rat King now for something quite gross. If you feel your stomach turn over, then that's probably the right reaction to feel for this crazy phenomenon. In case you're wondering if this is some sick ritual performed by a mysterious cult, then you're wrong. This strange formation was first discovered in 1564 and is known as Rat King. Pretty cool name for something so vile. It seems like these rats were tied up by their tails and died a slow and painful death through starvation. One popular hypothesis suggests that the tails of these rats secrete a sticky substance made up of skin fat, excrement and food remains. This sticky mixture ends up solidifying during winter when these rats sleep together in confined spaces. Upon realizing that they're bound to each other, they try to escape the bond, but sadly the knot gets even more tight. Eventually, all die from starvation as freedom of movement is lost. Since this phenomenon is so rare, it's hard to give a solid explanation. The same situation has been seen in squirrels as well. Pretty strange stuff. Number 9. Spider in Resin Remember the movie Jurassic Park number 1, where John Hammond, the owner of the park, walks around with a walking stick with a resin tip? Well, the resin contained a trapped mosquito from the Jurassic era, and the DNA for all the dinosaurs within the park came from such insects stuck within the amber. Sure, it sounds far-fetched, but similar resins exist in real life. Here is an unlucky spider which was trapped in his amber, some believe, for 20 million years. Imagine if we had the technology to recreate dinosaurs like in the movie. Maybe a real-life Jurassic Park isn't so far-fetched after all. Number 8. Antler Man This is James Phillips, or locally known as the Antler Man in his hometown of Three Forks, Montana. What's so special about him? Nothing much, just that he's collected over 15,000 antlers, horns and skulls over the past 60 years. His collection is so massive and impressive that he had to build a 30 by 64 foot building called the Horn House just to display them. Crazy? Maybe. Impressive? Definitely. Number 7. Self-Cannibalism Ever seen this symbol before? It's called the Ouroboros, which symbolizes the cycle of life, death and rebirth. It's also a symbol most often associated with alchemy. But we're not here to discuss about an ancient symbol. There is, in fact, a real-life version of the same. Snakes eating their own tails. Quite the strange sight. Why on earth are they eating themselves? Scientists say that this weird circumstance happens when a snake mistakes the movement of its own tail for that of prey. The naive snake doesn't waste any time losing a potential meal and jumps right at it and ends up doing this. Hey, does it eat itself until there's no more? Number 6. Hummingbirds 
think your life is hard? Probably not even close to the hummingbird. These tiny birds have an incredible high metabolism rate that they need to be constantly feeding. If a hummingbird goes without nectar for even two hours, it's game over for them. Just to sustain their metabolism and to continue survival, they have to collect nectar from at least 2,000 flowers every day. Imagine a life which is a constant hunt for food, one after the other until the very end. Sounds like hell. Because they're so tiny, any changes in the environment might mean the difference between life and death. Even droplets of rain would be equivalent to being hit on the head with rocks. Just be nice to them, okay? Number 5. Zombie Moose Zombies may not be just a thing of movies, there are plenty of cases where there are zombie-like creatures in nature. The brain worm, as the name suggests, is a type of brain parasite most commonly found in white-tailed deer. Since they are so common within this species of deer, they've built a very high resistance to the parasite. But that isn't the case for these unsuspecting moose. The parasite is usually shed in the feces of these white-tailed deers, and any unlucky moose which consumes it will be stricken with the ill effects of the brain worm. The worm goes right for the brain and tunnels into it, which causes a lot of damage to the central nervous system. You can see the moose here moving around in circles and out of control. This is one of the symptoms of these parasites, and it often ends in death. Not a good way to go. Number 4. Tuskless Elephants Trophy hunting and game hunting has been part of human culture for a long time. While this tradition continued for centuries, people didn't really think far ahead. In time, a lot of species were wiped to extinction. The modern elephants, for example, were heavily hunted for their precious ivory tusks. It's been estimated that in the 16th century there were 26 million elephants which roamed the African continent. Guess how many there are now? Less than 500,000, and all due to extensive poaching done across the planet for their tusks. These ivory tusks are a high-value commodity in various markets in Asia. Traded for thousands of dollars, the ivory is used to create different types of handcrafted artwork and jewelry. Few other commercial uses include piano keys, organ keys, billiard balls, and even for the manufacture of specialized equipment for airplanes and radar. After reducing their numbers to such low numbers, a lot of conservation programs have come into the picture. But these majestic giants are still not safe from extinction. Strangely, it seems that nature may have come to the rescue with this odd genetic occurrence. It's been noted that in recent decades, a lot of these African elephants are born without their tusks, Constant poaching of elephants with tusks means that those born without tusks are more likely to survive. Without the tusks, poachers have got nothing to salvage, pack up their bags, and look for a different career. Number 3. US-Mexico Border The wall designed to keep illegal immigrants might be doing a lot more damage than good. The US-Mexico border wall has managed to separate countless wildlife from its natural territory, and it doesn't look good. The area is rich in life and is home to many rare and endangered species. A study has revealed that around 93 threatened and endangered species are at risk here. The wall could degrade or destroy habitats for almost 25 different species and restrict the migratory path of certain animals. The pygmy owl is one of many animals that is at risk of being isolated as a result of the wall. The barrier will prevent wildlife from accessing their habitats, watering holes, or even prevent them from escaping a predator or fire. The disruption caused is not just for the animal kingdom, but also for the plant and insect world as well. What do you think is a good alternative to this wall? Number 2. Mummified Dog Sometimes larger animals face a similar fate like the spider stuck in resin. Meet Stocky. This poor hound dog met his end when he got stuck in a chestnut oak in Georgia in the 1960s. He was only discovered in 1980 when a group of loggers chopping up this very tree found the mummified remains of Stucky in a hollow stretch 28 feet up from the base. Upon finding such a strange thing, the loggers decided to donate the hollow trunk with the dog to Tree World, a tree museum in the state. The perfectly preserved mummy had all its teeth intact and they were in full display. One explanation of how Stucky got preserved so well mentions a chimney effect where the upward draft through the hollow trunk carried away the dead animal's scent from the tree. This prevented insects and animals from scavenging the dead dog. Another theory is the inside of the tree is relatively devoid of moisture. The tannic acid, a natural substance that absorbs moisture and dries out its surroundings, might have helped in drying out the dog. Well, how exactly did he get stuck in there? One possible explanation is that being a hound dog, he was probably chasing a raccoon and chased it all the way into this hollow spot. At least he got stuck while doing what he liked, chasing critters. Number 1. Carrion Beetles it's inevitable that all living matter will eventually feed the various organisms that pop up after death. 
This can be noted on the forest floor when dead animal carcasses are swarmed by various insects. Meet the carrion beetles, for example. They usually show up wherever there's decaying flesh, dung, or fungi. They are nature's janitors and help in cleaning up the environment by picking the bones clean. Some beetles can even eat out the body of a deer. Poor guy, it's not only stuck in a fissure, but it also became food. Let's not deny, though, the obvious fact. The beetles did a great job. Another interesting fact about the carrion beetle is that their presence on a dead body is used by forensic science to help estimate the elapsed time since an individual's death. These beetles must have helped solve several murder mysteries for sure. Well, those are a few animals who've had it rough and were probably treated unfairly by nature and humans. What do you think about them? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment, and before you go, be sure to smash the like button, share, and subscribe. See ya!